what's really exciting about this one is it's such a great opportunity to get people to talk about what happened in what would happen in our world if religious freedom was taken away. Yeah, what if what if you lost the ability to choose who you pray to and all that? Now this is not, you know, this is a movie that's not it also explores some interesting themes. It's not preachy. First of all, people have loved the book for years. The Giver is a, a story that that has connect, resonated with a lot of people, people of all ages. And that's why I like it. I'm a 54-year-old guy and I was sitting a, cr- a couple of seats away from a two 18-year-old teenage girls and they walked out as enamored with the movie as I am. There's something about this movie and this story that's sort of transcending generations, generation, generationally, isn't it? Yeah, it's been around since 93, and uh, I think that uh, people like this movie because it goes to show you that uh, the elites don't always have it right. right, and anytime someone out there is trying to, you know, protect us from, you know, ourselves and protect us from making bad choices, yeah. That's a good person to you know run away from as quickly as possible. Yeah, Mike Mike Flaherty is with us. He's the president of Walden Media, and he's a. I know a lot of. I know more about you probably than will make you comfortable because I know your story. You serve on a number of boards, including the Salvation Army National Advisory Board, and I have a very 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 big spot in my heart for the Salvation Army. And this movie, The Giver, that's out. It's out in theaters everywhere now. Some of the performances in this: Jeff Bridges, Meryl Streep. I mean, of course, I could watch her read the phone book and these young kids <laughs> these young kids who play the love interests i mean these these, these are great performances oh they're fan- you know we got this great uh actor out of australia brenton thwaites who's fantastic and then odea rush is a fantastic actress and um she does a great also job. a uh, beautiful beautiful israeli girl and so it was nice during the junket not only to have her promoting her movie um, but also just making a very common sense point that her country has the right to That's defend right, itself. To exist and to, and to defend yeah. themselves. Taylor yeah. Swift makes a kind of a neat cameo appearance. Um, and, and the story does, I mean, the giver is all this, I mean, describe sort of the, 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 the alleged utopia that these people live in. Yeah, so in this community, they, they thought that if they could take away pain, and take away poverty and um, oppression and hunger, that uh, people would live perfect lives. But, of course, in order to do that, uh, we had to surrender uh, a lot of our free will. And the first thing they did was abolish the word love yep. because they didn't want anyone to have any idea of sacrifice love, or love, 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 precision, power. love, precision of language, please. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to get you in the sequel.